Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another 2K20 My Team video. And today we are doing the third episode of the No Money Spent series. I know it has been quite a bit of time since I have uploaded the last one. Almost a month now. I think it's been like 20 days now. I know I should be uploading the series more, but I kind of got into Madden and I've been playing a lot. And I think I want to start playing a little bit of 2K more. Now, since the year is pretty much coming to an end in Madden, I kind of want to just do a bunch of 2K because I've been having a lot of fun grinding 2K and just getting the best team possible. I'm sure you guys have noticed if you guys are keeping up with the series that I have made a lot of changes since the last episode. Um... Pretty much my entire starting lineup is three fourth no three fifths of the entire starting lineup is different and quite a bit of the bench is different so i will go over all of the changes i did make and all that i've done and what i plan on for the rest of the series i probably will not have gameplay in this episode because i want to talk maybe i'll play some triple threat online but i want to have an unlimited game every video probably maybe triple threat here and there but i kind of want to have unlimited games in every video just to have some gameplay for you guys but um yeah, before we do get in the video, make sure you guys do drop a like down below if you are enjoying the Nomadi Spend series and subscribe so you don't miss the videos. Make sure to leave a comment telling me any suggestions you have, any cards you want me to pick up, any challenges you want me to do, and any um, critiques you have on the series because I am open to suggestions on what you guys want me to do. But to start off, I want to go over all the brand new pickups that I have. So I'll try my best to remember some of the pickups that I did made. I did pull up my old video on my screen so I can see my other lineup. To start off, my guards, my point guard and shooting guard, my starting point guard and shooting guard have been the same. Pete Maravich, I still love him. His release is insane, and I love using him to peek off screens and shoot threes. Nick Batum is a great defender. He's 6'9", so I use him there, which is nice, obviously. But he's a good defender. He's a good shooter. He can shoot really well, and I like his release. And then at the small four position, this is where we did make an upgrade. Obviously, if you guys keep up with 2K, you would know that they did come out with fan favorites number two. So we have a bunch of new fan favorites cards in the game, and I did end up selling... Dennis Rodman and Andrew Wiggins. I liked Andrew Wiggins a lot, but I thought Dennis Rodman was better. And then Dennis Rodman, I kind of got sick of him. His release was just a little too wonky for me to deal with. He's a good defender and all, but Jeff Green is kind of just better. So I have him in at the starting small forward spot. And now at the starting power forward spot, I have Thurl Bailey, the Spotlight Sim Historic Jazz. I finished that off. This guy, this card slash this guy is absolutely insane. He's a 6'10 guy who can play the small forward spot, who can shoot really well. He's a really nice release, and he's a great defender. He's really lengthy. So I really like him on the team and the final um, new pickup in the starting lineup is this brand new Eddie Curry Very similar to Dino Raja and how he plays a great defender long arms But he's got a lot bigger of a player build and he's like I would say just as fast as Dino Raja He looks like he's 300 pounds on the court and he's great at defense He's probably like a point center so you could you could make your entire offense around him Which would be awesome, but I run my office pretty much through Pete Maravich, but Eddie Curry is definitely a great defender He's great to have he hits open shots. He hits dunks and stuff and he has great animations He's like a cheap shack pretty much so that's why I really like him now moving on to the bench originally at point guard I did have uh, Bingo Smith starting but we did pick up this brand new Dwayne Wade that did come out a couple days ago now because the takeover promo which did come out we have got this Dwayne Wade now I know I did I don't even know if it was in the series but I used to have the 98 overall Dwayne Wade um, on my team as my starting point guard off the bench not my starting my point guard off the bench right I had him there but he was just a little too expensive and it wasn't worth it for me so I sold him off but with his Dwayne Wade he's like 2000 MT his release is insane his shooting is insane so I definitely have him as my starting point guard off the bench now my shooting guard is still Bingo Smith um, this card actually insane shoots the lights out great peak shooter and he's good defensively he's 6'5 I think so he can play the two he plays really well for me and then Cam Reddish most of the a lot of the benches stayed the same we still have Cam Reddish right here uh, but he moved to small forward instead of shooting guards plays really well probably plays like a galaxy opal for me he plays so well shoots the lights out and stuff definitely the best spotlight sim to do from the current ones now we did move danny manning to the bench um daryl bailey i liked him more in the fit in the starting lineup so he is in my starting lineup we do have danny manning coming off the bench and finally we have dino raja who's now also coming off the bench obviously a very very good card so he's coming off our bench now our centers are probably set for the year unless I want to pick up like a shack or someone like that Or a better version of Dino Raja comes out now That is my entire role as my entire 10 man lineup But I do have this Gilbert Arenas obviously you get this from completing the East that is right I did complete the East spotlight sims and I'm a little bit into the West, but I'm not doing great I kind of slowed down ever since the last um, nobody spent video 
but as you guys can see we have the Gilbert Arenas and then we have the Dean Wade if you know you know my boy DBG love watching his videos he's great shout out to him but um Dean Wade is um definitely a pretty decent guard he shoots the lights out he's got a great release decent at getting to the rim and he's, he's a good defender I guess so he's not bad to have there just in case we need a little bit of height and if Cam Reddish is struggling to guard someone and then we also have Isaac Bonga if Dwayne Wade or Pete Maravich is struggling to guard someone for height because he's obviously 6'7 he can lock down like Magic, Giannis, all those people because he's tall. Now that's my entire team guys. Um, I want to talk a little bit about also how I've been making a lot of MT because I know you guys noticed I have 126k MT. Currently I am a bit evolving my second Pau Gasol. I am so close I need 21 more blocks which I've been doing the domination games to get those so that's what I'm doing there. I'm also evolving this Deer Fox who I've been um, getting points and stuff with. I don't know how I'm going to get the blocks with him but I've been doing decently with the points and stuff. And then I'm finally evolving this Bam and a Bio. Now you're probably like why are you evolving three cards at once? Well pretty much what I'm doing is I was evolving Pau Gasol but I finished points and stuff so I'm like hey he's just going to sit in the paint get rebounds and blocks and then I'm going to evo another card so I decided to get bam right so I could score points with them and then I'm like hey I should pick up a card who can get assists so I'm not wasting anything so I decided to get this Darren Fox once I finally evo him all the way up he will get about 100k profit so I should be at like 300k once I sell all my stuff off so that'll be a nice prop right there I'm also kind of debating Evo into this Aaron Baines I've done a little bit with him but nothing crazy and yeah that's all I've pretty much done 2k wise now I also have got my collector level up we are up to about 373 cards collected obviously I have all the cards from the um, challenges so I didn't sell off any of the cards I used for the spotlight challenges I'm just holding on to them when I do the current challenges just so I don't have to rebuy them all that and nothing else I've really done obviously I've completed a bunch of spotlight sims so I can show you that when it comes to the spotlight sims I've done 17 I have all of the east done obviously and then I have thorough Bailey done in the west and I haven't done any currents but yeah that's pretty much all I have done when it comes to 2k and grinding and stuff now obviously I want to continue the series and keep grinding and stuff and I'm gonna continue working towards evoing these cards and making a bunch of MT so I can get more better players on the team but um I was thinking about picking up a brand new card today so we're gonna go ahead and do that on video for you guys it is the brand new Darius Miles that did come out the other day he is a pink diamond hopefully we can get him for like 20k because this card is very very good for sure so if we could pick this up this card he's very cheap which is very nice he shouldn't be cheap at all he's like a Jeff Green clone except better in my opinion so definitely a very good card he probably will slot in on the bench just so we have some scoring off the bench but still this guy's gonna be absolutely insane on the team we'll see what we can get him for looks like about 21900 it looks like we can get him for like 21800 so we'll go ahead and buy this Darius Miles send him to the collection now um i also was evoing a bunch of cards and i have a couple Dwayne wade's invested because i feel like his price is going to go up just because how good he is now we have this darius miles right here we're going to go ahead and go over his stats and badges he's a 99 offense with a 97 defense he's a 6'9 small forward so that's nice on him he's um 210 pounds as well so good he's got a 95 driving whip a 75 post fade a 55 post hook he's got a 95 close shot 92 mid-range 89 three which you can get up with a coach or a shoe 98 standing dunk 98 driving dunk great dunker 86 ball handle which is good 88 block on him 88 steel good perimeter and interior defense with great rebounding for at least a small forward great speed at 95 he's got a good vertical 98 good hustle good lateral quickness as well and he's got shot iq a little high which is a little worrisome because normally you want that low so it looks like they're bringing down the overall but it is nice it is what it is it's not a super big turn off and then obviously all of he's got all a's here whether it's a minus or a plus and then his badges uh he's got catch and shoot volume shooter he's got tireless shooter he's got a uh, quick draw hot zone hunter green machine which is really nice unpluckable pick dodger clamps on him as well intimidator quick burst step handles for days Pogo stick, downhill, tireless defender, slithery finisher, showtime, fancy footwork, pro touch, and does he have gold range? We'll see if he does. He has heart crusher, rim protector, pickpocket, lob city passer, which is a little weird. Uh, but yes, he does have gold range extender, so very, very similar to like a Jeff Green. So we'll go ahead and we'll find a spot. I think what's going to happen is we're going to replace Danny Manning with a Darius Miles right here. I don't know why I moved that. I meant to keep Darius Miles, but Darius Miles is probably for this video I guess he'll play the starting power forward spot we're not gonna 
play an unlimited game I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna get into a triple threat online game and we'll see what we can get done and guys this is the team I'm gonna run with I'm gonna run with Dwayne Wade Darius Miles and Eddie Curry but actually before we do that we're gonna go into freestyle and we're gonna test out what Darius Miles animations and release looks like all right guys so we do have the Darius Miles in freestyle right here we'll go ahead and see what some of his animations look like and another thing I did um edit about my games um, how I play is I do play with meter off now so that's something different I have been doing I've been playing with meter off because I feel like it's much easier to release the ball with meter off right now I'm just not able to green with Darius Miles I'm not sure I'm not used to his release um, I'm trying to find like a pattern it looks like when he flicks it behind his head you're supposed to release it so I'm not sure how I feel about his release yet because it seems a little wonky I'm not sure oh there we go there we finally got a green with Darius Miles it's definitely not a bad release we tested the leaner right there testing the leaner and late right there Ooh. I'm not sure whether he's gonna be able to lean with shots it doesn't look like it but it does look like he can peak pretty decently well he's also gonna be great at attacking the rim good dunk right there by him and we'll see how he is in the corner I'm assuming he's gonna be a great corner shooter um, I'm just I can't quite time his release right now that's early uh, oh dang okay I'm shooting really bad right now with Darius Miles I just don't know his release quite yet so if we get past that be nice thank you and there we go we finally hit a green it looks like you pretty much have to just time it right when he flicks behind his head you just have to time it as soon as he throws it like a that's a little bit early but like that there you go see what I've been what I learned from that is you pretty much just have to shoot it as soon as he like brings the ball forward over his head so I guess that's the way you're gonna have to shoot there he smiles now I understand how to green with him he's definitely a really really good card um, he's gonna have great animations when it comes to dunking because he um, obviously is a great dunker and stuff so having him as a ooh, excuse me having him as like a dunking like rim running power forward is or small forward depending on where you want to play him is definitely not a bad idea at all but let's go ahead and just finish off the shoot around and we'll go ahead and get into a game triple threat online I know DBG does this um, where he ends his shoot around when he greens one three so I guess that's how we're gonna end it too we'll green that three and we'll head into the brand not the brand we'll go ahead and play some triple threat online all right so there's my opponent's team he's got Giannis Dwayne Wade and Wilt Chamberlain definitely a very good team a little scared of Wilt because that does mean he went 12 and 0 but the Giannis isn't very good and Dwayne Wade's very good so we will see what we can get done it's been a little bit since I've played online because I've been grinding a lot of domination and stuff so we'll see what we can get done against this guy we're gonna go ahead and see if we can get a steal but um hopefully we can lock this guy down and he gets the easy bucket with Dwayne Wade Jerry smiles with the three that's a white but he knocks it down there we go wasn't quite a green but still a nice shot by Darius smiles hopefully we can learn to green that release all right, so this guy definitely knows what he's doing. He's um, definitely a good player. He wouldn't have Wilt if he wasn't a good player. He's a really good dribbler, I can tell. But he seems to be like post-heavy, where he likes to play in the post, and he doesn't really like to take shots, which is a little weird why you would have that Dwayne Wade card, but I'm not sure. And he gets that easy bucket to go right there. Derry smiles on the wing, and we don't dream that. We shoot it early. Man, dang it. I can't quite get his release down right now. Oh, Eddie Curry to the basket. Kick it out to uh, Derry Smiles. Oh, Dwayne Wade in the corner. And that is a green, baby. That is Dwayne Wade. We love to see that. And my battery's low. That is a nice shot by Dwayne Wade. Good defense there by Darius Miles. That's a really nice play. And Darius Miles on the move, and that's a green, baby. Darius Miles coming up clutch with the defense, and then the three on the move on the break. He's definitely great on the fast break. And he goes out of bounds right there. We got the 9-6 lead. Hopefully, we can extend it. Dwayne Wade on the peak, and that is a green, baby. Dwayne Wade and Darius Miles are just money this game right now. Shooting so well, and I thought maybe the dude quit, but he doesn't seem like he's quit yet. And we, I don't know how we didn't get a steal with Darius Miles right there. A little bit weird, and we get the foul right there with Eddie Curry. And Eddie Curry gets the steal, pass it up to Darius Miles in the corner. Darius Miles, not quite a green, but he still knocks it down. Still getting used to the release, so I'll admit I will miss some shots. But he's still knocking down the whites, so definitely a very good card. Sadly, it was a two. I definitely thought it was a three. But hopefully we can play a good defense. He just takes a bad shot right there, pushing the pace with Dwayne Wade in the corner. Not a three, but still a green from the mid-range. Bad shot by him with Giannis, pushing the pace with Darius Miles. Maybe we can get like a nice dunk here with Darius Miles, going up at the rim and he gets blocked. But Dwayne Wade gets the nice board, kicking it out to Darius Miles for three. Not a green, but he misses that shot. Eddie Curry down low with the easy layup. I'll take it. 
Alright, so it does seem like my opponent's kind of gave up at this point. I'm not even sure what he's doing. Um, he kind of just looks like he gave up and is not really trying. So, we'll see what we can get done. See if we can maybe get a steal. But he's going to go ahead and pause. I don't know why he paused there. Maybe Darius Miles on the move can hit this. And that's not even on the move. But he greens that baby for the game. That is a great way to go out. This Darius Miles card is cash. I will say that. If he is open, he hits uh, greening with him. It's a little hard at the start. It looks like that my opponent quit right there. I don't know why. Just take your MT. But um, this card is definitely green. Plays really well. And I'm happy to have him on the team. That was a good game at Triple Throne Online, guys. And I think that's going to be the video. Like I said, I want to start playing 2K more because Madden is getting pretty dry. I probably won't do a ton of content videos anymore when it comes to Madden. And uh, sorry if you hear my PS4 fan. I don't know why it gets so loud when I do ball drops, but it does for some reason. But like I said, I probably won't do as many Madden videos with the end of the year just because it's a little bit tough to find videos to make on. But I still will definitely do theme team videos for you guys. And maybe if you guys want to see it, I could do some squad builders on 2K. Because I would definitely be down. It sounds like a lot of fun. It sounds expensive though, so I'd have to think about it for sure. It sounds like a lot of fun, but I'm having a lot of fun playing 2K. So if you guys want to see more 2K videos, make sure to tell me in the comments. I will definitely upload more. But uh, yeah, guys, I think that's going to be the video. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. And if you did, make sure to drop a like down below. Subscribe and notice on. Make sure to leave a comment. Comments always do open the video. Get out there. Go check out my socials in the description. We got Twitter, Instagram, and Twitch. And go check out my stream labs in the description. If you want to go further than subscribing, you can donate there. But uh, yeah, I'll see you boys in the next one. Peace out. Thank you.